In this A-level biology video, we're going to be looking at a genetics topic called multiple alleles, and we're going to use blood grouping to actually illustrate this point. So really, if you've seen questions about blood groups, this is the video you need to be watching. So first of all, let's start by defining the term multiple alleles. And this is when a gene has more than two alleles. And a good example of this is human ABO blood groups. Now there are three alleles associated with the gene I, which stands for the immunoglobulin gene. And this leads to the presence of different antigens on the cell surface membrane of red blood cells. And so this is the really important bit. Allyl IA leads to the production of antigen A. Allyl IB leads to the production of antigen B. And allyl O, which actually doesn't lead to the production of either antigen. So there's no A or B produced. Now, despite the fact that there are three different antigens, only two can be present in an individual at any one time. So only two alleles can be present in an individual. And seriously, the most important thing to take away from this video is that the alleles A and B are codominant, whereas O is recessive to both IA and IB. And that's going to be so important when we look at some crosses. So first of all, pointing out the variety of different blood groups which exist. Because of antigen A, you've got the blood group A. Because of antigen B, you have blood group B. Because A and B are codominant, it means that you have a blood group AB. And then finally, you have the blood group O. So what's the potential genotype for blood group A? Well, clearly, you could have that homozygous version. Or because that O allele is recessive, Effectively, if you have only one copy of that A, you'll still have that A blood group. The same is true for blood group B. You could have the homozygous version, or you could have the version which is combined with that O allele. A, B, remember, A and B are codominant, so this is the only potential genotype. And because O is recessive, the only potential genotype for that final blood group is IO, IO. So let's look at some test crosses. So in this first cross, we're being asked to look at the combination of an individual blood group O and one with a blood group of AB. So let's use the same layer as always in order to work this out. So mother and father, it doesn't matter which way around you do it, it's just for argument's sake, we'll do it this way around. The phenotype, remember that's the physical appearance of a particular trait. So the mother is blood group O, the father is blood group AB. What is the genotype? Well, we've got it in the table above, but we know that we need to remember this. Because the mother has an O blood group, which, remember, is recessive, she must be homozygous recessive for that, so both alleles are the same. AB is codominant, so we need one copy of that A allele and one copy of the B. So what are the potential gametes? Well, all the mother's eggs will be IO. The father's sperm could either be IA or IB. Let's do a small Punnett square. So we'll do the father on this side. The mother on this side, make sure you cross them nice and accurately and therefore you can see that 50% will be blood group A and that's because they have this genotype, 50% will be blood group B and as always linking the genotypes with the phenotypes that's because they're IO, IB. Let's take a second cross now, cross a mother who is heterozygous for blood group A with a father who is heterozygous for blood group B. So starting with the mother's phenotype, 
We know that she is blood group A, the father has a blood group B. What's their genotype? Well, because they're heterozygous, we know that they must contain that O allele. What are the potential gametes? Well, the mother's eggs are either IA or IO. The father's sperm are either IB or IO. Ready for that Punnett square now? So we've got the father and the mother. Let's copy in those gamete genotypes. Let's do the cross. Doesn't matter which way around you draw the alleles, by the way. So we have quite an interesting scenario here because if we have a look at each of the offspring genotypes, let's start with this offspring. Because that A and B allele are co-dominant, then we know that this offspring will have an AB blood group. This offspring here will just be an A blood group because remember that A is recessive to O. This offspring is very similar, but it's this time the B blood group. And then finally, this offspring is an O blood group. And I've pointed out all my genotypes and how they link with my phenotypes. So one to one to one is your ratio.